years you are in this industry, if you have decided to become an MDRT, you can make it happen. Three years ago, I achieved my first MDRT with more than 300% growth. The seed of MDRT started to grow in me when I, when I decided to become an MDRT. I started to see myself as an MDRT. I started to plan my daily activities with back-to-back -back appointments. I monitor my production daily. I have a small notebook that I always carry with me that recording down all my productions. Keep my eyes on my production growing make me feel excited because I know I'm a step closer to my MDRT goal every time I close a case and I protect a family. I finished my first year MDRT with productions of 538,000. From a 100,000 pro FYP producer to 538,000 FYP producer, it is more than 300% growth. It is a miracle to me. As you can see, in our business, growth is the key. Change is hard at the beginning, messy in the middle, gorgeous at the end. My winning attitude started to develop when I start to care about my own progress. This winning attitude led me to my willing attitude. I become more willing to ask, I'm willing to learn, and I'm willing to tap on every single opportunity. Before that, I always complain, I have no one to see. No one wants to buy from me. Customer always cancel my appointments. But after I change the way of my thinking, instead of focusing on keep complaining and uh, focusing on the problems, I focus in finding the solution. It becomes, i willing to tap on more opportunity in the new market, I'm willing to see and find a new way how to close every single case and protect as much as possible families as I can. Impossible become possible. In life, we need to find opportunity in every difficulties. By doing that, I noticed that my closing ratio has been improved from 3 over 10 to 8 over 10. Why all this happen? Why? Because I change in attitude. People always come and ask me how you can finish your three consequences years of MDRT. I always ask them back, you know. Since people like to ask me questions, I always want to ask them back questions as well. So I ask them two questions. One, do you really want it? Do you really want it? Two, how bad? How bad you want to make it happen this year? I still remember when I, started to dis when I decided to achieve my first MDRT, I faced a lot of rejections. I faced a lot of no. I faced a lot of obstacles. I also faced a lot of challenges. When it comes to this, I always ask myself, why should I continue in doing this? And um, as and when I feel a lack of confidence, I always talk to someone that I believe, someone that who can actually lift me out. I still remember, in the, in the, at the beginning of the year, I have my plan to finish my first year MDRT in, in November, 11 months, instead of 12 months. I want to finish it in 11 months. But in the midst of September, I lost faith it because I still have a huge gap of 150,000 FYP to my MDRT. So I talked to one of my MDRT buddy. I asked him, do you think I can finish my MDRT on time? 
He said, do you really want it? Deep inside my heart was, my answer was, yes. I want to make it happen. Then, what happened was, I keep telling myself at the point or I feel very down or upset or I, I receive a rejection. I keep telling myself to say that I have been worked so hard for the past nine months. There's only three more months for me to go all out to achieve my first MDRD, which means a lot to me. I should go all out until I get it. I keep repeating the same statement in my mind. I should go all out until I get it. Have a wild guess. Do you think I complete my MGRC on time? In the month of November? Thank you. But indeed, indeed, huh? hold your clap first, huh? you clap louder later. Indeed, I finished my first MGRC on 31st October. A month earlier than what I planned. 